Well, here we are at Heathrow Airport in London, England. Man, if you're wondering why I'm not drinking anything right now, it's because, you know, on, a, on, on the plane, uh, British Airways, I should give you up. You know, uh, you know, they had a the little bottle of water, you know, they give out, you know, right? And so I figured, hey, let me wait till I get off. I can take it with my morning pill. You know, blood pressure thing. Well, and I had a little tiny bit of Listerine left. I was going to use that. It doesn't matter. So I go through the thing. A little bit about it was fairly sealed. You know what I mean? Oh, you can't have this. I think, it, I think they had something like less than whatever. I saw the size of less than whatever. It was cool, but I guess they ain't going for that. Anyway, that's why I'm not drinking. It was, a spring, it was spring water from some sort of famous spring from 1591 or so. I don't know, whatever it is. And uh, so I drank it there, but you know, with my pill. So that's what happened. But let me tell you my airport, uh, how I should deal with airports. First, go to Cape, Cape Town Airport, right? Uh, and uh, there, you know, my friend uh, Ian uh, and uh, the kids you know, accompanied me to the airport. And we had some, uh, I had hot chocolate, of course. And, you know, they had no shakes. So, like that. Speaking of spring water, oh, we're, right now we're just going to be on my YouTube channel, but you need to go to the playlist because I have an interview with Ian and he talks about sp the spring water off of Table Mountain that they give for free, uh, you know, uh, it's the best thing. But according to Yaki, yeah, I'm, I'm building myself for the Yaki protocol, right? Uh, anyway, uh, you know, spring water is the only thing you should have like that. The other water is for washing, whatever happened. You actually eat your water in the morning, fruit. And I've been doing that. Oh, I've been doing that for the last uh, two months, I think, something like that. It works. Morning fruit, about 11 o'clock in the morning. Eat it in the sun. You know, eat your water in the sun. Perfect. I only eat two meals a day anyway, but that's not the point. Actually, I uh, sort of fell off at Ian's because, you know, we went to trigger fish and had a you know, these beers, you know, that do all kinds of craft beers. They have this really nice one. I have, oh my goodness, when I go back, and I guess I'll be back there in January. I got to go back there. Hey, I know Yaki. What can I say, man? You know, I'll get to that later. So, anyway, uh, so I should tell you this. And I'll tell you at the end. That way, if you, that way, if you're not sticking around, then you won't hear it. Right? So, um, so I get on the plane, blah, 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 everything's all cool, da, 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 da. I sit next to a woman that's she's very tall. Uh, she's, she goes between uh, South Africa and England, like that. I think she was raised in South Africa. She was raised in South Africa. Then, but it was in the, I was in the last row, 44, with the, the woman with the four seats, whatever, having so sex next to her. And then there was this other guy, uh, really annoying, uh, Anglo. Really Anglo, you know, wearing the shorts and the, and the hair on the legs, you know, and the, the really red face or whatever. I mean, ah, he was, he was annoying, you know, really annoying. You know, I started to break, but I said, ah, don't break. Not good, right? Not in the airplane because you don't know what, what's going to happen. You know? But it was really, really, a very annoying. Just his demeanor, you know. And my screen was on. He put he put the emergency thing over the emergency little thing over my, 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 my phone because the screen was on. Like, hey, what about the speed on it? <laughs> anyway, oh yeah, but by the way, I did not watch any films or anything like that uh, because I had downloaded a lot of stuff. But they have the thing now, they don't give you the headphones anymore. Even though I had, but, uh, you have to, don't worry about that part either. Uh, but I, what I did learn, uh, because I had anything on airplane mode, the F airplane mode, you really don't use much battery. So I'm going to start doing that instead of just save the battery thing. I'm going to use the airplane mode because my battery was not going any place. I can pull my downloads. Because, you know, I was listening to Mr. Neely for the junior. That's two hours, right? Uh, who else was that? Uh, uh, anyway, um, oh, uh, this thing on Muhammad Ali, uh, the, this David Frost interview on Muhammad Ali that I ain't seen. Very interesting. Uh, really good. Uh, and something else. Something else I watched, like a two hours, something like that. I forgot what it was. Uh, I guess it was forgettable. Anyway, so here I am. I said everything was going smooth. Like I said, I had the water, you know, that they gave me. Oh, I didn't really eat. It, it was terrible air, airplane food, but I ate the, the, some fruit one morning. Uh, uh, this morning, uh, this morning being 
Thursday, I think it is. And I did have some some stuff the night before because I was, uh, I could have went without, but I decided, but not a lot, just a little bit. Okay. Now I have a habit when I do airports, especially when transitioning flights and when I get it, you know, transit flights, when you gotta change change things. I walk slow. I walk I walk like Denzel, you know? Very slow. I saw walk I saw Denzel walk like that live. When he was in uh, Cape Town doing uh, fail, was it fail safe or something like that. Actually, I, I turned out I saw him because I was at Adassa, uh, was Six Pin Street, and he was there was a scene there like that. It was really interesting how he walks, you know. So anyway, uh, uh, later on, I, because I was doing a favor for for a friend of mine, Mark, Mark McCree. Hey Mark, I gotta get next time I gotta look more proper, um, because he ran a, a casting agency, and uh, so they hired well put me in as a as an extra, right? But here's the problem. I got cut from that. But here's the problem. I right? actually had a beard. I had a beard, scruffy beard like this. And if you look at Failsafe, in the beginning of the film, Denzel has a scruffy beard. And strangely enough, I think I cut out because I looked too much like Denzel. Because we had the, had the scene that we were right there. But that's just my fantasy. But then again, when I was teaching at the University of Cape Town, I walked down the hall one time, and the ladies, it was, it was a long distance. And she looked, she looked, she thought I was Denzel. I don't know why people... Uh, don't worry about that. Anyway, so so I get to this thing and the lady, which is nice, you know, English lady, she's nice, you know, so I go do all that stuff. And now uh, here I am waiting for my connecting flight to New York, right? But let me tell you, aside from what, so let me tell you what I did. See, uh, I have, I've been living in Cape Town for like 10 years. I got, I know all kinds of people since so I got to connect. So what I did this time, right, I got some, uh, some mushrooms. You know, some magic mushrooms, right? Now, I, I'm not really into any, I, ma, mushrooms is my, I like mushrooms, okay? The, 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 the magic mushrooms, whatever it is, hallucinatory mushrooms, right? And what I did was I, I packed it in, in, um, in honey. This honey that I got was this uh, honey, it was a uh, honey from, uh, it was a macadamia, macadamia honey. I guess it had macadamia flour, whatever it is. Uh, but it's irradiated. It wasn't irradiated. It, you know, it wasn't irradiated. That when the radiation hits and it gets rid of all your, your nutrients, right? Which is which is something I found out too because I asked somebody, oh, the health food store lady, right? Um, uh, there in, in uh, where was it? Someplace, um, someplace in the near line dock or something like that. And I said, you know, the manuka honey. You know, this New Zealand honey, very expensive. It's supposed to be very good for you. Whatever. In fact, I use it as medicine, right? But um, actually, it was uh, Ian that hit me to this. Any honey that comes across borders, that comes to the country, it's automatically irradiated. So you spend all that money for the Manuka honey, the New Zealand honey, right? But as soon as it comes to, to the state, say, for instance, or, or South Africa or England, whatever, it has to come through borders and they irradiate everything. So the benefits of that really expensive honey is gone. So you really should, I, you really should do honey from the local honey, the one that's not irradiated. Otherwise, you're just wasting your money, or wasting your medicine, as I would say. Anyway, so I packed, I, I packed some, some uh, mushrooms and, and some honey in a little, little jar. Oh, I learned to do that when I was in Thailand, because I had some mushrooms that came from elephant dung, right? And it, it, it got a lot of it. We packed it in this honey. It was really good, really, 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 really good. So. Boy, hey man, don't you see me recording? Boy, this place is huge, man. It's gonna come bite by my picture. No, gonna end this thing. Anyway, uh, uh, so 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 it's a waste of money. Now, when I'm when I was in Alice, this guy was selling the thing with the honey, but with the cones in it. So you eat it like like you know you're chewing it like like, like gum. You know what I mean? And you spit out the wax, and that's really the best thing I think. Anyway, so that's my whole story. I'm ready. To get, I'm sooner or later I get on the thing just change uh, whatever so I, um, I get on the plane in about an hour about two hours I don't know I got to go check right now all these people coming around okay so that's it I just wanted to give you an update I can't do it on Instagram because you know traveling whatever happened right so that's it and that oh by the way the honey I mean the, 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 the uh, mushrooms were really good <laughs> it was really good, you know. And the whole plane flight was really mellow, mellow, mellow. It was really, really nice. And plus, when I went to the uh, to the loop, right, the flush was really good. Just saying, right? Okay. So 
Anyway, but if you're going to alter your state, mushrooms is the thing to do. I did poetry one time. That was all right. But, mm. Okay. I'll check you all later, right? I'm uh, being me. T, from the Patterson State, the trains to let you know that I only suspect. <laughs>